question is, uh, who were or and are uh, Jesus, Mohammed, Krishna, Buddha, and why does it seem that they've been carjacked? I do not believe any of them drove an automobile. I mean by uh, religion, our, our, what we uh, perceive uh, as religion. Uh, 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 yes. <laughs> they are reflective representations of the collective consciousness. In a sense, you could say they are the world spirit, the world soul. Does that make sense, first of all? They are reflections of the world spirit. Your entire planet's oversouls all collected into one expression. Each of those are reflections of that idea. Each and every one of them fundamentally were telling you the same message we're telling you now. You are also Christ's, Buddha's, Krishna's, Muhammad's, Wavoka's. You are all the same as them. Every single one of them said that to all of you. But because of the compartmentalization that created disconnection and fear, the majority of your planet could not handle seeing that reflection because it only reminded them of how unlike that reflection they were. And when you are reminded of how unlike your true self you are and you are compartmentalized in that way, then the reaction from fear that occurs is called resentment. And when you resent being told that you are not who you really know you are, then the fear grows and the resentment grows and you wind up usually killing the one reminding you of who you are. And also you create the idea of intermediaries saying, well, 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 I know that's a lot to handle, so I'll filter it for you for a small nominal charge. So you create more dissociation, more in-betweeners, and you remove and remove and remove and remove yourselves from the original idea that you are also the same as the messenger. Does that make sense? Yes, completely. Thank you so much. Thank you.